It is time for our team of the week. We're going to get things started behind the plate with the big dumper, Cal Raleigh. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Cal Raleigh behind the plate. I One of the more underrated catchers in the game of baseball. Not a lot of people talk about him, but the guy the last couple of years has led all of baseball catchers and homers. Uh, hit 467 on the week with two home runs, four RBIs, and an OPS of 1.486. All right, moving up to first base, Vinny Pasquantino. Vinny P, a big reason the Orioles and the Royals, they sound really similar. Big reason the Royals are playing good baseball is because of Vinny over at first base. Hit 389, had three homers on the week, 19 total bases, and an OPS over 1,600. So Vinny Pasquantino is my first baseman. Moving over to second base, Cattell Marte. Yeah, Cattell Marte had a really big week, and it was just fun watching him Yeah, because just really clutch hits, I thought, and, and the numbers are great. 433 average, two homers, 21 total bases, an OPS of almost 1,200 on the week. But the, the D-backs were down to their last out in a game. He was their last hope. They're down a run, nobody on base, hits a homer to tie the game. They mm -hmm. end up winning it in extra innings, and – the very next, that was his last at bat of that game. Very next game, first first swing he takes of that game, hits another homer. So clutch homers, big week, Cattell Marte, one of the better, and again, a more underrated for uh, second baseman mm -hmm. in the game of baseball. All right, moving on to third base, Jordan Westberg. One of those O's. Mm -hmm. Jordan Westberg is my third baseman. One of those young O's, by the way. He's Young, fun, exciting to watch, 435 average, hit a homer, six RBIs, and a 1.1111 one, 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 one OPS. One, 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 one. <laughs> <laughs> Moving over to shortstop, Phillies, Trey Turner. Yeah, Trey Turner is here. Ugh, shortstop was a tough, tough yeah. spot this week. I ended up going with Trey Turner because, well, he hit 538. Mm -hmm. He had two homers, seven extra base hits, and an OPS of 1,500 on the week. So that 538 average with that OPS, seven extra base hits, is uh, I couldn't go with anybody other than Trey Turner. There is another name. I think Alex might mention it later, so I'm not going to dive into any stats or anybody else. But cool. A couple... Yeah. A couple big-time performances. It was like the hot position of yeah. the week. Yeah. Okay. Moving to the outfield. Now, remember, this is just three outfielders, not in any necessary position or specific order, but let's get started with your first yep. outfielder, Anthony Santander. Yeah. Anthony Santander is another Oriole on this team of the week. 368, hit a homer, four RBIs, slugged almost 1,200 on the week. Uh, so he's my first of three outfielders. Second outfielder. Dalton Varsho. Yeah, the uh, the Blue Jays, a, a big pickup for the Blue Jays mm -hmm. last year. Really underperformed, didn't have a great year, wasn't off to a great start this year, but he had 353 on the week with three homers, an OPS of 1421. So he's my second of three outfielders. And rounding out the outfielders, the man carrying the Yankees right now, Juan Soto. Mr. New York Yankee Ooh. himself. He should be the captain of the Yankees. Whoa. No, I'm just kidding. No, no. Whoa. Just, Slow your roll. Just wanted to rustle Slow some your roll, there. Juan Soto, buddy. 409 average, two homers, 500 on base percentage. That's pretty close to getting on base half the time at the plate this week. Pretty good there. And an OPS of 1.273. So Juan Soto, Dalton Varsho, and Anthony Santander are my three outfielders. Okay, moving on to designated hitter. Brian De La Cruz. Just a lot of homers. Yep. A lot of homers this week for Brian De La Cruz. Four homers, 10 RBIs, an OPS of 1.086. Hit 286, but man, was he driving the ball. Clutch homers. They were down in the ninth inning the other day, down a run. He had a huge two-run homer to, to come from behind and win that game. So clutch, a lot of power. Good week for him. He's my DH. Starting pitcher, Jose Barrios. Jose Barrios has really turned... The, the resurgence of Jose Barrios is awesome. Really, really good pitcher for the Twins. Ends up traded going over to, to the Blue Jays and just not, I don't know. He went through something. It's, it's almost like he lost his mechanics or he lost his confidence or something, but he's back to being that nasty pitcher. He had two wins on the week, mm -hmm. uh, 13 innings pitched, struck out 13 guys, didn't give up a single earned run in two starts, 
and a whip under one, 0. <laughs> 0.85. So Jose Barrios is on the mound as my starting pitcher. Love to see it. Now let's wrap things up with your relief pitcher of the week, Bryzel Iglesias. Braves, number one on the power rankings. Uh huh. Winning six games in a row, entering Sunday. That means a lot of save opportunities. A lot of saves. Rysel Iglesias ended up with four on the week. Three and a third innings pitched, four saves, three strikeouts, zero earned runs, zero hits on the week. Perfection. Perfection. That's it. That's that's We end with closer. All right. So, that uh, going around the field, mm -hmm. you got Cal Raleigh, Vinny P, Cattell Marte, Jordan Westberg, Trey Turner, Anthony Santander, Dalton Varsho, Juan Soto, Brian De La Cruz, Jose Barrios on the mound. Rysel Iglesias also on the mound just a little bit after Jose Barrios to end the game. Uh, my player of the week. Yeah. I'm going Trey Turner. How could I not? 538 batting average, two homers, and a 1,500 OPS. We talked about it earlier. The Phillies, the Phillies faithful, full 180. They just now cheer for underperformance, really try and turn guys around. Well, they did it with <laughs> Trey Turner. Again, not the best start to the year this year. Not your typical Trey Turner start. Took him a little while to get that first homer. But he had seven extra base hits on the week, two of those being homers. Hit over 500. Trey Turner and the Phillies, they're back. Alex, who's your player of the week? Well, we're sticking with the shortstop theme, all right? Because my player of the week is Gunnar Henderson, the Orioles phenom. Now, the only reason he's not on the team of the week is because of the shortstop that you just mentioned, Trey Turner. But if you could have snuck him in, he deserves <laughs> to yeah. be somewhere on this team yeah. of the week. The reigning AL Rookie of the Year is showing why he was a silver slugger, batting 458, three home runs, six RBI, an OPS of 1369, one stolen base, and he is helping this team inch closer to the top of the AL East. Just right on the Yankees' heels. And you missed one big thing. The mustache. You kidding me? The mustache like that? <laughs> he should have been my player of the week. Uh, I like it. I also think that's the first time in history yep. one of us has a player of the week that is not on the team, team of the week. week. Unfortunately, they play the same position, so yeah. I'm glad you went with him. I yeah, really uh, needed to be talked about, but unfortunately for him, Trey Turner had an unbelievable week. But... Uh, so, yeah, Trey Turner for me, Gunnar Henderson Short for you. stops, baby. And that does it for us. Thanks for watching. If you like catching up on the latest news around Major League Baseball, weekly interviews with Atlanta Braves legend John Smoltz and your favorite MLB players, make sure you hit that subscribe button.